Hey y'all, all right. Back out here in the garage and I'm working on porting these 360 heads, the 596 casting number head. As you can see, right there is the casting number. I refer to 596, referring to the last three digits. So, anyway. All right, but first, before I show you or talk to you any more about this, I wanna say thank you so much for all the likes and the shares and the subscribes. We are now over the 2,350 subscribers. So it's just, it's just amazing. And I wanna thank you so much for all of that. Uh, it's just, I truly appreciate that. Okay, uh, tape. I'm wearing my work clothes and my job where I work at, they have very strict rules about social media. I cannot be showing the company logo. All right, so that's good enough. And this little doodad, this is to keep mosquitoes off of me. I don't know if it really works all that well, but I'm wearing it, so. Okay, all right, now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's get down to brass tacks. Okay, now, I went over the areas where you really should be porting when you're porting Mopar, Mopar LA small block cylinder heads. The same ideas, the same tricks can be done to virtually any cylinder head out there. But you're just basically, you're getting rid of all the obstructions that's going to obstruct airflow. Um, you can see I've been opening up that window, port window. Uh, I've been port matching. You can see the silver right there. Probably should have used... You see the silver paint there. Use a silver paint marker. Thought it would stand out better. It doesn't really, but it stands out well enough. I can see it. Probably see it better over here. Yeah. Okay. But as you can see, what I've done, these two ports here, this exhaust and this intake, uh, have taken me just to maybe roughly 45 minutes maybe so to do all of this now you can do this with the shorter shank uh, carbide burrs like this one i do have the longer one there you see but you can use the shorter one so that you don't have to go out here and spend a boatload of cash to do this it's just not that hard it's not that expensive um, if you don't have the money to purchase better cylinder heads, you take some cylinder heads and you make them better. I will be taking the die grinder and going around this edge and just chamfering that edge down. Just put a little bevel on it. Uh, that may reduce my compression just a teensy little bit, but it's worth it because I want to get rid of the any sort of spots where hot spots can be. A hot spot, can, what it can do... An edge, you know, what it can do is it can absorb more heat than the rest of the combustion chamber. And then it will have a, um, when it does that, it will create this uh, almost like a glow and uh, create a hot spot. And that hot spot will cause fuel to pre-ignite which is really, really bad. We don't want that. Pre-ignition can result in uh, detonation and uh, can result in, you know, damage to engine parts like burnt valves, burned up pistons, cracked pistons, you name it. And it's just, it's hard on the entire engine. It's, it's not a good thing. So, all right. So, now, let's... I've been showing you the intake side here, so this is the intake side. Let me show you my results, okay? Let me show you the fruit of my labor, okay? So here I've got some sockets. Here's seven eighths, all right? Here's my exhaust port. There's seven eighths in the modified exhaust throat, and here's seven eighths over here. I can't even get it in this one. This one hasn't been altered. Has not been altered. Okay, so 
Now, as you can see, there's seven eighths. What is this one? 13 sixteenths? 15 sixteenths. 15 sixteenths. Look at there. 15 sixteenths goes down in there. 15 sixteenths will not go down in that exhaust. It will go in that one. So, there you go. Okay. Let's see. Here's five eighths. Here's a five eighths socket. And. There's the same socket. It falls completely cleanly through that exhaust port. I can't get it to fall through there. Here's a intake port. Goes almost all the way out, doesn't it? Right there. Hold on a minute. I'm set this thing down. Yeah. Okay, so see, if I don't let it sit on the floor, it'll go all the way through. So there we go. So now, standard intake port. See, won't go. And I'm, oh my God, it's almost like I've got it stuck now. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Got it back out. All right. Now, if you notice, this is your standard intake valve valve guide sticking up there in the in the uh, pocket that I call it. And then here we've got the the non We've got the highly modified one. As you can see, I'm trying to blend it into the rest of the port there. Okay. Now, it is not necessary to get this perfect in every way. Okay. So some people think, oh, you got to get that just so perfect and everything. And you don't. And you got to be careful that you don't break into like the water, water, uh, your water jackets when you break into your water jackets you know it's all over with so now I could cut this I've narrowed this and necked this thing down and I could take it down even further but I'm not going to I think I'm just gonna leave it like that okay so alrighty um, let's see yeah let's see look here this is 30 millimeter socket goes in there it won't go in that unmodified one well it will but just barely and this will go down in there so and like I said about 45 minutes on what I've done here you know opened up this port window opened all this up worked on the exhaust side I haven't port matched the exhaust side at all I'll show you the exhaust side you see I've been working on the roof so uh, I will be port matching the exhaust side soon enough and uh, so anyway all right so I just want to bring you this little update show you everything bring you up to speed um, also to tell you, this isn't hard folks. You can do this. You got it. If you've got a die grinder and you got, you know, some time and, uh, you've got the interest in doing it, this is not a bad thing. You can, you can gain, make some nice little gains and, you know, and you got these heads that a lot of people would consider junk, you know, they wouldn't even look at them twice. But, you know, that's where you take what you have and you make it better. That's that's the essence of hot rodding, okay? Some people might say, well, the essence of hot rodding is having a 32 Ford and a flathead V8 in it or something like that. And I'm not going to argue with them. To me, the essence of hot rodding is taking something you have and just generally 
making it better, modifying it to your to suit your needs or your wants. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to work on this intake port just a little bit more. There's an area I'll show you. Let me get some sort of pointer. Okay, this is perfect. Okay. So there's an area right, right there that I don't like. It's just, yeah, that area is kind of a, it goes down and there's like a hump comes up right there so i'm going to work on that hump a little bit and uh try to calm that down a little bit try to smooth it out which that's basically what you want to do you want to just smooth stuff out work on it a little bit at a time a little bit at a time what i've been doing is i've been doing a little bit on this every night before you know i go to bed and uh or maybe before i you know and my compressor my compressor doesn't keep up so what I do is I work and I'll be working in here, working in here until the compressor kicks on. Then when the compressor kicks on, I'll go do something else while the compressor is building up air pressure. However, the modification I did with the two, two tanks has been working out great. So I, I like that. But anyway, yeah. So what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on that area down in there, like I said, and then uh, I'll probably move on to port matching the exhaust side and uh, just keep moving on from there so i uh, thank you so much and if you have any further questions about this any other questions about any of my videos you know what to do if you're smart drop a comment down below i'll do my very best to help you out and answer your questions okay and basically oh and also i'm basically just going to repeat what i've done in here and just keep doing that and then i'm going to be using my sockets as a guide to tell me you know do i need to go further do i need to do more you know i'm going to keep going back to this these here when i do these i'll be comparing them to this these pair so that's what i'm going to do so I thank you so much for watching and i thank you so much for all the likes and the shares and the subscribes it's really truly awesome and Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great one.